have to explain this. Um, he's, he's waiting. He's waiting for you to approach him, to tell him how much you love him, and to tell him that you desire to be close to him. And then from that point, he'll start to speak to you. Does that make a sense to you? Yes, I, I, okay. I, yeah, I, it, he'll start to speak in your heart and he, he'll guide you um, through all this. We're in, a, we're in a really intense time right now because um, we, are, we are in a battle for the United States right now for against Satan. He's wanting to take over the world, really. And so um, we are really, really, really getting, um, we have to, as Christians, um, get on our knees and pray, pray for God, God to um, open this, everything up, because all the darkness needs to come to light, all this evil that is hiding underground and um, everywhere else trying to not be so, um, not to stand out so much so they can continue to do their evil. And their evil is to make this a one world order. And it's not going to happen. So thank you, Jesus. Um, so, but for you right now, it's to, to get close to the Lord. Study your Bible, you know, but ask the Lord to show you what he meant by it. Because in a denomination, we get so, um, we, we, they, they kind of just constantly, you know, hammer things into you. And it's never the closeness of the Lord. It's just basics, really. And, um. We need this strength in the Lord, and we need to be able to really, really pray and um, know the will and the mind of the Lord for our life, for our destiny in this battle. So, I hope I didn't blow your mind with everything here, but it's just what, you know. Your thoughts, Valerie, what, honey? What are your thoughts? Well, I, I, I've been reading the Bible and trying to understand it more, and um, especially since I've met Logan and trying to understand things more and how more um, things can be. You know. It's a lot, you know, but... In these times, um, um, people and their knowledge. So he will, if you ask for it, you'll get it. I can tell you that. I, I you know, before I received the Holy Spirit and the, the praying in tongues, I went to a meeting in um, somewhere over, over in New Orleans, and, and they were talking about all that. I went home that night and I said, Lord, if this is a, of you, I want it. But if it is not, then I don't. And I had one child at the time. He was two. I just put him to bed. My husband at the time was in, he was already in bed. I went in our laundry room and sat on the dryer. And I said, okay, Lord, I'm ready if this is of you and man. It poured out of me. So, you lot, know. A lot of tears. A lot of tears, right, Peggy? A lot of power, a lot of fire. A lot of tears. Uh -huh. A lot of things coming out. Uh -huh. And what did he put oh, what did he put in that hadn't been there before? Are you asking me that? Yeah. Oh, there's a lot. <laughs> A whole lot. And we've, you know. we've known each other since we met in Hayesville in 2000 and 
six and you were in the choir and uh -huh. I, I started the prayer group with Heldardo, the Spanish uh -huh. pastor from Colombia. And we had yeah. incredible power that was being released and then all hell broke loose as they put us on trial. We okay. have to go through the good and the bad and the ugly. She's been through now three husbands, two of them passed away. Uh, and then I came into her life. Uh -huh. And I keep her laughing and laughing and laughing, but then she gets sad. Uh -huh. And I do too. Uh, I'm working her backyard. When you come here to visit us, Peggy, this is the rainforest that I used to always see when we would pray. I was cutting okay. down, I was cutting down, uh, what are those trees, honey? Those, I don't know what they are. those big things with the huge leaves. From the left side are. and the right side with a machete. You know, because okay. I'm a tennis player and like a golfer. Bam, bam, bam. And I, just like I'm in Africa, I yeah. cut, oh. I cut, I'll, I'll show you right now. Well, you're gonna, I'm gonna send this video to you that I'm doing right now. Okay. okay. But, those are bird of paradise. Bird of Paradise. These over here. Okay. Behind you. They're like 12 feet tall. Yeah. Wow. They're amazing. Yeah. And, you know, I've been working here ever since, and the thing that just totally impressed her when I came, she was saying to somebody, he just started cleaning my house up, working on my house. And then I went back, and I started working 70-hour weeks. And, you know, I didn't have a place to live. It was either here or out of my car. Good old days. You know how many days, how many years and stuff that you lived in a car. Knoxville, all of what we went through. But this time, I was driving my 2017 Kia Soul. And the engine blew up. You know? Anyhow. Are you, you're totally retired now, right? Pretty much? Me? Yeah. Well, well, no, not really. I mean, I haven't been working, but, um, and I'm living in St. Augustine, but I don't know how long that's going to, you know, however, however the Lord wants me here. Well, your, um, yeah. your daughter-in-law still has her Beamer, and you've had experience on the Beamer. The opportunities oh, yeah. for the Beamer here are astounding and we have room we have lots of room anyhow i'm gonna let you go okay. and i'll i'm gonna post this uh and send it to you so you can watch this what okay. what you just did and then i'm gonna send okay. i'll send you valerie's on my family plan with verizon so you okay. she can friend request you and you can friend request her uh, on Facebook and you guys can uh, really get to know one another. Okay. All right. All right. Sounds good. It was nice to meet you, Valerie, or talk to you. But anyway. <laughs> Thank you. You too. You're awesome. <laughs> All right. Bye bye. Well, you guys have a good evening. Thanks. You too. All right. Bye bye. Bye. Bye bye, Blackbird. Yeah. <laughs> bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> bye bye, Blackbird. Jesus loves you. This I know, for the Bible tells me so.